in this video I want to show you how to bench test your DME mod module MS 41.1 so it's pretty simple to take it out of the vehicle um, you remove the air filter on the passenger side um, and there are four screws <clears throat> once you got it out um, you can use um, a connector like this this is from OBD2, 16, 16 pins. This one got 20 pins. So when you take this one apart, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. And on the back, you're gonna have five, five wires, which I already removed. <clears throat> and uh, the wires are, you can see they're numbered you can see which one is which. There's gonna be number 14, number 17, number 20, number 19, and number 15. So these are the five wires that you're gonna remove from here. Once you remove the five wires, um, basically you need to connect them to, to the pins on the DME. So to connect them to the pins, um, this is which pins you need to connect them to. Um, the number 14 um, from the 20 pin adapter, that was um, the, the power wire. So it gives you volts. <clears throat> and I numbered them here. And number 14 is here. So the number 14, I connected it to three other wires. And um, these um, three other wires, they go into the following ports. They go into, uh, sorry, pins. So they go to pin 26, 49, and 60. So <clears throat> if you can see here, it goes here is one. Then the other one is this one and then this one so these three wires they give power to the dme then you had two more wires on on that connector when you took it apart you had number 17 it's hard to see here but uh, i numbered them so 17 was yellow and number 20 was uh, brown. So these two, they're for K uh, line diagnostics. And um, I bridged them together and uh, then connected them to this pin. This pin is, so it's this one. This pin is 88, number 88. And I just used these uh, small connectors to connect it to the pins basically cut off the plastic on one side and on the other side and in one side i insert the wire crimp it and on the other side um you know i found the one that fits the best that fits the pin the best with the size some pins are bigger and some are smaller so that's what i did um, and then there is the ground wire. The ground wire is black coming out of this bigger wire. So I used this little guy to connect and bring him, bring him out here. And the black uh, ground wire goes to pin 28. And um, pin 28 on the DME, it's uh, right this, this pin 28. And this is where it goes. And that's about it. The, um, there was one extra wire, number 15, that's the red one. Uh, it's a L line. You don't have to worry about that. So once you got this going, um, you can connect it to this adapter. And you should know what this adapter is. It connects to your, um, the other side of the wire is the USB. So it connects to your computer and you can scan. 
Um, for power source, I saw one guy use the um, um, power supply. I made it less. Uh, I made it simpler. I just used an old adapter. I don't even remember what it's from, but you can see here it got 12 volts output and um, 2 amps. So I just cut off the connector here and uh, connected one to the one to the positive to the blue blue wires coming out to the positive and the black one is the negative so as I've shown you the blue wire is positive goes in here connects with other three wires and then they distribute power on these uh, three pins 26 49 and 60 and the pins are also numbered so you will be able to see the pins uh, once I do that I power it on connect it to the out to the power outlet and uh, I'll show you what happens start up in Pi again double click on the E39 engine my version and boom here we go so got all the all the screen and all the options and everything works F1 F2 and you can do whatever you want uh, well other than testing the components um, on the vehicle because they're not connected <clears throat> so that's pretty simple and uh, that's all you have to do to be able to uh, bench test your module take it out of the vehicle and test it in your house very simple